Hey, Jonesy, hey, miss you me? watch my videos? Shit. You enjoy them? Sorry, I know. Don't forget I like my shit. I did, actually. I'm sorry for... for how I left things. It's good to see you alive. Likewise. Listen, I let Michael down. I've learned my lesson. Never again, okay? Never again. That Michael was always there for me, Mother. Didn't matter whether she needed someone to run a quick errand or just an ear to listen. She could always depend on him. There's not enough people like that in this world. And now even less. I loved these windows when we moved in. So much light. Now I wish we'd bought a bunker. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. I want a chat. Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Mum says hi. It's much more relaxing here, eh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. Ha ha ha! New money just ain't got the style of the classics like you and me. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out. I could raise everyone's spirits. Or we could keep it to ourselves, eh? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. So, I get the quality booze, bring it back, we drink said booze, whilst you show off your impressive weapon. No giggling in the back row. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. If this were my gaff, would I keep hard killing single mort in a cellar? Sports room? Bedside table? Mouthwash bottle? <laughs> Not a result. Next.
couldn't have just hidden it in the shed, like everyone else. A blend? Uh-oh. Not an auspicious hey, Nada. Maybe if I fashion a totes awesome whiskey detector from scrap and bandages. Locked from the inside. Uh -oh. Of course she'll have the key. Killing. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> 
wine cellar. Start at the bottom and work up. This water. Et voila. Uber plonk. Get in. Mr. Sinclair, even during a zompocalypse, I'm reticent about burglary. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. Mr. Sinclair, your order is being processed.
locked into you. Usually, I only run errands for my mom. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. But Mr. Sinclair, your hands are neither cold nor dead. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you too. My mom is flipping angelic cartwheels right now. But what about you? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> all right, so lesson one, pistol grip. Grasp the gun with two hands, tight, but not too tight. Don't want that recall taking you out before the zombies get to you. Keeping your dominant hand wrapped around the grip. Hey, is that spot of dirt you've been cleaning for the last half hour more important than your life? Some of us deal with our emotions in ways that don't involve guns.